Welcome to uh, another webinar uh, of 3D Scanners and Polyworks. Uh, today we're going to continue on on our Venzel CMM and we're going to do a bit more uh, analysis and uh, feature creation and sequence creation on our part. So let's continue where we left off. We have a sequence uh, that's created to measure the features that we were interested in. But now we've been given some extra features uh, that we want to add to our sequence. So if we are asked to then measure some surface points, okay, and possibly on this top face, okay, we again tell Polyworks that we want to measure them or how we want to measure them. And let's give ourselves a smaller back off distance. And what we can then do since Polyworks now knows how to measure them. We can go back into our edit sequence and we can add the selected objects to the optimal location in the sequence. And that will do as it says. It then adds surface point one, surface point two, and surface point three uh, into our sequence, but in the optimal location. So whilst Polyworks is over here measuring the circle, she's now going to then measure the uh, surface point. And similarly, so it has this clear run uh, or nice clean run uh, to measure the features. Let's now um, add in some other surface points, but ones that Polyworks can't necessarily get to uh, without having to do uh, an orientation change. So let's create some more surface points, but let's create them on this undercut area. Okay, so we're going to tell it once again that we're going to be measuring them with a CNC probe. And we're going to do a 10 mil movement before and after. Okay, and now what you're going to have to do is add those objects to the end of my sequence. So it's not going to be able to measure them in the orientation that it's in currently. It will have to come down and do a head orientation change for itself to then get in and measure those surface points. So it's intelligent enough to know when it can and can't get to features. Uh, let me then add some more features, but possibly on this back face. So we now want to add in another surface point, okay, which it could possibly measure in the A0, B0. But in this case, we're going to tell it that we are specifying an angle for it to measure those features in. So we go back into our edit sequence and measurement path. We have our two surface points highlighted. And we want to now tell it, we don't want it to automatically select the tools and the orientations because it will more than likely just do it in our A0, B0 angle. We want to pick our orientation at A90, B90. So a handy little tool there to help you if you don't know uh, what the best angle uh, or at angle of attack is um, for your CMM. You can simply select it from the CAD model. So click OK, and let's now add those two surface points to the end of our sequence. So again, it's automatically putting in my go-to positions. Uh, it, I've told it you're going to have to do a head orientation change, and it's going to come back around. So I'm going to quickly run those steps. so that we can see. It following the path. So it's automatically changed its head orientation 
as it knew that it couldn't get to these points um, from looking straight down. Now we've told that you have to measure the points on this side of your part at this angle. So it's come back, changed its head orientation, and it's come in to measure these points. So quite handy if, you know, there's a possibility of getting to it, but you might have a fixture in the way. So let's now look at some extra functionality that we can add um, into Polyworks and into our part measurement that uh, has only recently been added in. And that is, I suppose, to, since we do have a tactile uh, probing head, or a tactile scanning head, I should say, um, is to create a polyline that we can, um, that we can run the, around the edge of our part that we want to measure, and then measure the profile of our part. What I'm gonna do at this stage is manually drive my CMM up, add in a go-to position, when I know it's safe to do so. So I'm going to select at the bottom of my sequence, insert a go-to position, and I'm simply going to read that position from the coordinates of my device. You can obviously fill them in um, in, the, in the boxes. I'm going to now go back to record, and I'm gonna set myself back to A0, B0, and you'll notice that that A0, B0 angle is now set on the, um, on the bottom of my screen or on the bottom of my sequence. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a profile in for the edge of my part and then we're going to um, tactile scan it. So I'm going to go back to features. I'm going to go to polyline now. And we're not going to be interested in measuring the full range of my part, but partial. And I'm gonna select my starting area, which can be here, and finishing area, which can be over here. Okay. So now Poly Polyworks has the polyline in the tree. I now need to set its measurement proper properties as normal. This time we're gonna use a script, and we're gonna tell it that we want to come down two mil from our top edge, and we're going to probe this. And our polyline is open, so we'll apply and close that. And again, because we're in recording, um, if I now run that, We are measuring now the profile of the outer edge of our part. When you do have tactile uh, scanning capabilities, this is quite nice because uh, you can very quickly and easily get your profile um, and be able to pull it out and analyze it then. So let's do just that. So we've measured it. We have our polyline. Let's go into our geometry controls. We're not interested in our length, so let's remove that. And let's add GDNT and add in our line profile. So we have a datum to, or a tolerance to A, and we have a tolerance of 0.5. Okay, so we can see that to A, uh, we have measured it at 0.256. So let's take in all those points and put in the profile uh, set itself to A, and that's the, the measured result. If we then want to have a look at the profile, so let's just hide our probe for now. What we can do is go to View, go to Feature Navigator, and what we can show is, if I hide my CAD model, And let's up our scaling factor. 
we can easily see where our high and low areas are. So not only does Polyworks give you the ability to measure it, but then to easily be able to uh, analyze it as well, uh, which is to great benefit. So if we did want to add that to our report, we can simply add a screenshot here, and that will create a report for us. Okay. Let's do some more quick analysis of our part to finish off. And let's, for instance, turn back on our features. So if we are interested in some dimensions, uh, we create them as features. And we just tell Polyworks that we want to measure the distance between two circles. Or we might be interested in the Z dimension in this case, or the X dimension. And it's just a matter of specifying which direction you want your measurement in. And then positioning your annotations to suit. If you do want to reposition annotations, you can then pull out using uh, the tool on the right hand side for position annotations. Um, to add them then to our report, we can show and hide them and take a screenshot. And similarly, for our features, as in our, some of our circles, and again, position their annotations to suit. And let's avoid intersections and hide. And take a screenshot and create a table. And if we quickly then jump into our report, we have our screenshot of our line profile. We have our dimensions. We have our screenshot of our circles. And we have our table of our circles. Again, all these are very, very editable. So simply right click and you can turn on, turn off items that you may or may not want to see or reposition them onto the same page. So we have our screenshot matching our table. So that concludes um, some of our analysis, uh, adding in extra features into our sequence and allowing the sequence uh, uh, creation tool to, to aid us in, um, in adding those features in as well. Thank you very much. And um, again, you can follow us on our social media to uh, keep up with these webinars and um, contact us in the chat or by email. Um, if you do want to find out more about Polyworks or get some support. Thank you.